James A. Martin III, also known as Jim. My rank was lieutenant. We were basically a, a, a Sixth Fleet Med ship, uh, which meant that uh, we cruised in the Mediterranean with them. And the, big, and the uh, uh, Sixth Fleet had a big operation over there. The, the Missouri was their battle axe, was their radio call. Uh, the Midway was the carrier, one of the carriers, there were more than one carriers. There was probably about uh, 15 destroyers that were the screen. Uh, so we had a big presence in the Med. And, uh, <laughs> and then we'd visit various ports. We worked a, with the British, they had ships in the Med, and we'd do drills with them, things like that. Uh, our aircraft carrier did a lot of uh, flying around. I don't know what they had, the demand was on the planes, but they were always launching, and uh, which made it interesting because you think of the destroyers being fast, the aircraft carrier and the, and the, and the battleship were faster than we were. They were slower getting up to speed. We could only do 31 knots, they could do 35. So because of that, you have this big circle of ships that's protecting them, big boys we call them. Uh, they would cheat back, and then when they turned to go into the wind, they'd be in the back end of, this, of the uh, formation. So that by the time they got done launching or landing an aircraft, they hadn't gone through the screen on the far side, <laughs> which made it interesting. Okay, you had two sources. One, you had your own eyes, and you had uh, lookouts that provided information. Then you had radar. And uh, with a big fleet of ships like that, positioning is very important. So you have a ship that you position on, usually the battleship or a carrier, whoever the big boy is. And you know exactly the angle to him and the distance to him, and you better be there. Because when they made signals to turn the formation, if you weren't where you belonged, or you misread the signal, then there was troubles. And, and the Hobson was a ship before my time, but it got cut in half by an aircraft carrier because they were in the wrong place, they turned the wrong way. So you have to pay attention to stuff like that. And the, uh, your visibility on the surface is about five miles. Uh, with the radar, of course, you got a lot more distance than that. Uh, the worst storm we were in was in, uh, in the Med. Mediterranean Sea, and uh, we were with that gang of ships. And the, the, the storm was so bad, the water, when we were standing on the bridge, the water was coming clear up over the bridge. And it damaged the, the ship, various things. We were just taking tons of water over the ship, uh, which was not good. We were in a hurricane off of uh, uh, Nassau, which they just had another one, uh, which was not as bad. I mean, it was rough, but it wasn't as bad. The, the other one that really was as bad or worse because of the position was one when we were tied up in Newport, Rhode Island, and the storm, the hurricane came up in Narragansett Bay, and it drove Narragansett Bay clear up into Providence, Rhode Island, flooded them up there. Well, we're tied up on a weekend alongside another destroyer with chains going to a to a buoy to keep the chains from breaking. I had my guys start up the engines. We turned enough turns to go 47 knots or miles in the period of time we were under the storm. And that was just to keep that big chain from breaking out there. That, that was a very nervous situation. Now, 